So one of our problems here at the ranch is that our container has this six inch lip right here. It's hard on our Kubota tires or even on our UTV to go in and out of there. And so we decided to buy a ramp that would help. And it's going right here. So we're going to put this ramp over here so that we can get our tractor in without any problem. Yes. We're gonna open these doors up. So we have to open these doors first because it's not going to allow the ramp to be snug right there. With the doors closed. So we'll set one ramp here. Good height too. Mm-hmm. We have one of the ramps in there now. Yes. And here's another one because it comes in pairs. So you can, it makes it easy to adjust where you need to put them. Mm -hmm. Do they need to be like snug all the way there? No. No, that is not these side. That's the nice thing about them. Now we're going to pull the track up to it and make sure it's lined up good. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna remove those um, forks. And... Yeah, I'm gonna drop the forks inside okay. the shed anyway. Okay. But I can't drop them until I move that stuff back. Oh, okay. Well, then let's move the stuff back first. Okay. Okay, so the game plan is for John to get his truck, attach it to this chipper, and so that we can tow it and put it into storage. It was a good day. We had a really fun time chipping all the, the, the down trees and the limbs and, and sticks that we had here, all the debris from all the different projects we've had in the past. We started with a little bit of hiccup yesterday when, when we pick up this chipper from tra Tractor Supply, the container, basically a wooden crate that it was chipped in, was damaged. The bottom was giving out. It actually is collapsing. Good thing we were still able to pick it up into the truck of the bed and bring it down here at the ranch. But it was almost about to give out. We would have dropped this chipper on the ground if it continued to collapse and rot away. So anyway, we are now ready to store it so that we can get out of here, go back to tractor supply, do some more paperwork that we needed because they just let us try this and if we were not satisfied with it or if it was really damaged and not working then we can get a hundred percent refund since it's working then we don't need to do that so we just need to go back to the store and get some things lined up and we'll be out of here it's a good weekend lots of good things going on at the ranch we're doing it slowly but at the same time, we're progressing one step at a time here. 
we definitely want to be cognizant of our budget. We don't want to be spending too much on things that are not necessary or not needed at this time. We're just doing it step by step. It's a journey. It's not a one-time thing. We're just doing it step by step. Okay, so let me just go and help Jock there. So what's the plan? The plan is I'm gonna hook it up to the truck, line it up with the container and uh, set it inside. I have to pick this up by hand. Good thing it's a light piece of equipment. It's set right on the ball. Make sure it locks in place. There we go. You hear that guys, it snapped. Now it's locked in place. So since we're going a short distance, we're gonna take this pan out. Adjust this leg all the way up. Even though we're just going a short distance, it's always good to put your safety pin back in place. You don't want it popping out in transit and that leg falling down to the ground and before you know it, you're pushing it to against its uh, wheel. Here we go. All right, here we go. Chuck said I need to give him a signal once he's backing it up so that he knows that he's in the right spot. Amazing day! 